so this is my super janky setup I got right now. Don't worry about the shop. It's a little messy right now. I haven't been here in a little bit. We're testing out a, a shop light I got. It's like one of those iridescent ones that I got on clearance because everything's switching over to LED. Uh, I'm still trying to clean stuff out. Uh, we got a tool set here. I got a tool set inside for the house stuff. Um, currently, right now, I'm working on this thing right now. This thing is rusted out and gross. So, I stripped it, sanded it, or got the rust off of it. And then, now we got to sand it smooth, clean it, clean the drawers, get it back together. This came from my grandfather's shop. I didn't do the best job. I, I, I just did kind of a quick and dirty. Um, when this paint starts breaking down, we'll do a better job on getting that cleaned up. Uh, but I want to sand that down, get it all smooth, get it painted back to factory red. And then we'll start using that for bits and fasteners. Uh, some simple projects I've done. This was completely locked up. I didn't get it, you know, pretty. I just got it back to where it works. I completely took it apart, cleaned all the rust out of it, lubed it up, got it back together. Works perfectly again. This is a Craftsman. Um, this was my dad's, but it was like rusted so bad it was locked up. And I don't have the tools to get it pretty, but I just got it to where it's at least working. And same thing here. These lineman pliers I tried to use 10 minutes ago. Uh, they're still pretty rusted out, um, but I got them a little cleaned up. But these were almost rusted shut. So I used 3-in-1, scraped off the oil, or scraped off as much rust as I could with a wire brush by hand and then use three and one to oil up all the joints. It's still really overly lubed just cause I'm trying to clean all the gunk out of the pivot and the, uh, and the joint. Um, so you can see a lot of the oil is working out a lot of the rust and grease and grossness of whatever was in there before. But yeah, so these swing freely now. And like I said, 10 minutes ago when I was trying to use them, they were almost uh, locked up tight. So I'm glad that these are back together. These either came from my dad or my grandpa's tools. Um, the shop tools, I'm still kind of upgrading and still kind of uh, figuring stuff out. This came from a man crate and they send you the scales, the pins, the brass, and a blade and you put it all together. Um, I put a finger choil on this so you could choke up on it nice and tight. Uh, I trimmed down some of the point there and yeah, I'm loving it. I might start carrying this. Uh, that's a simple couple projects I got going on now. This is going to be the one I'm going to be finishing next. Then I got a guitar project coming. Um, but yeah, so this is my super janky setup for the new shop. And yeah, we'll upload videos hopefully eventually down the road we'll get an actual bench um i'm kind of really liking the shop light instead of these bulbs i don't know why i'm flashing you with the lights but yeah uh like i said it's it's pretty gross in this workshop right now i'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to go through clean stuff up i'm pretty gross myself uh i got up not too long ago and i decided to do some work on the workshop because i got projects planned he's not right we got the little guy here in the shop too he loves it i don't know why it's 
gross AF in here. But yeah, so this is the new place. This is the new workshop. We're going to be working on a lot of new projects. Um, I might do more EDC stuff and we might go back to that. I'm not sure because I, I, I don't really... I haven't really upgraded my EDC in the last two years. It's pretty solid. I might up. I might do another one just to show you what I carry because I don't remember what the last what was in the last EDC video from three years ago. But I'll put in my three favorite knives that regularly use in rotation and the gear I carry on the regular. And then we'll also do updates on the shop as we build it and as it goes along. And yeah, I just want to do an update video and then for the like the millionth time say I want to regularly get back into this. I want to get back into YouTube. I want to start get back into videos and I want to start sharing these new projects, this new step, new things I'm getting.